So now let's talk about another data type called dictionaries. A data structure, my bad, data called dictionaries. Dictionaries are basically collections of key value pairs. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we have key value pairs. And they are known as maps or associative arrays. So each key has a value. And these key, every key is unique. And value but so and values aren't don't really have necessarily have to be unique. So let's write out our first example of a dictionary. So we're gonna call this my dictionary equals and in here in this data structure we use curly braces. And then we define our key. So here's our key. And then we have a val and we have so we have key, the name the key itself, then a semicolon, and then value. And then each each pair is separated by a comma. You, so a key and keys and values can be any type. You can associate them with any data type, anything really. It could be anything you want, and you should define a base depending on your task given to you. So we have we can have a tuple, for example. You could have a number. You could have whatever. It really anything, and you'll see the results when I print them out. So you have the key and you have the value. And you also have another way of defining a dictionary by using a for loop in, curl, in, the, in the dictionary. So you open your curly braces, and then you, you write out whatever you need. So let's do this following example. So we have key x, and we have the value x plus 1, and then we have a for loop for x in range 10. And then we're going to print these out, print my dictionary. There you go. There you go. All right. And here's an error, a comma again. All right, so here you go. And keep in mind, sometimes when you when it prints out the dictionary, it'll be some sometimes it'll be in different orders. You'll see in a minute when we add when we add a pair to a dictionary, it'll sometimes be added on the end or added on the beginning. So, but anyway, so this is basically how you print one out, a print dictionaries out, and the indexes. Instead of using indexes, we use the actual key. So, if we want to get the key from a value from with this key, we we open our square brackets with the name of the dictionary, and we type in the key. And as you can see. Key is associated with value, so we got value. All right, and if we try to access an element that is not in our dictionary, we'll get a number a number error. So let's do the following. So we're going to, we can, I think we can erase this, yeah. So we're gonna do try, so we're gonna do some error handling here, exception handling. So let's do print, and then we're gonna do my dictionary. The first one we made, my dictionary with key one. And then we're gonna do accept. And then we're gonna do make our exception as E. And then we're gonna print that exception. See what happens. As you can see, we got a one. And like I said, you just get a number error. Okay, so. Whoa. So what we're going to do next is um, we're just going to basically, there's two functions we have. If you want to separately display keys and values, you have, you have the following functions. So you have keys and you have values. It looks like that. So you're going to take, so we're going to print my dictionary dot keys. And then we get the only the keys from the dictionary. And if we want it to do print, we're gonna get my dictionary dot values to get all, only the values, all of them in that dictionary. So we got key, key, the tuple key, and we got value five for values. So, and next, we if you wanna add an element to dictionary, we do it in the following way, so Let's remove this. We're going to take this away. All 
my keyboard's acting up. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to take my dictionary, open our square brackets, and add a key, a new key. And then we're going to make it slightly equal to the value we want to assign. And when we build, as you can see, it's sometimes in random places, but we still got the new key, we got the new key value pair. And if we want to change an existing key value to the, of an existing key, you take the key, so we have one, here's our one, and then we're going to say equal to three. As you can see here, it changed to three. All right, so, and when you want to delete a specified key, you take the following. So we made this, and then we're going to say, okay, let me delete that now. So we do DEL, it's a keyword, and then we take the dictionary and we basically open our square brackets and have the key desired key we want to use, delete from, delete. As you can see, the one we made here is gone. And so we see that change applied to one object also applies to the other one. And if we don't want this to happen, so we want, we have to create a deep copy of the object. But we will learn how to do this in the following chapters. So don't worry about like anything, if any bigger ideas with changing multiple objects. So anyway, moving on. If you want to remove all elements from a dictionary, you just, it's a new function we have. We have, it's called, so it's called uh, clear. So you have my dictionary and you have clear. And you print it out and you see it's empty. And that pretty much concludes the basics with dictionaries. Tune in next time.